Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do barbecue catfish. And I've got some of these beautiful Mississippi Pine Rays catfish fillets. We're gonna get them seasoned up and on the big green egg. Gonna put a nice glaze on them at the end and we're gonna serve them up with a pineapple coleslaw that I know you're gonna like. Let's get to cooking. So I've got about eight catfish fillets. These were frozen. I thawed them out real slow in a little bit of water, let them, let them come up to temperature. Now I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil on the back side of each fillet. I want my seasonings to stick. The first thing that I'm gonna put on these fillets is a little lemon pepper. And we're just gonna hit each side with the lemon pepper. You want a good pinch, spread it around. Lemon pepper really goes great with fish. But these are gonna be my barbecue catfish fillets. So I'm gonna use my hot barbecue rub on them. It's gonna give them some spice, some barbecue flavor. And it's got some pepper that goes with that lemon pepper tone too. It's really nice on fish. And we're not going too heavy, just spread it around. Now we're gonna flip these fillets over. We're gonna give the top side the same treatment, just a drizzle of olive oil, a little lemon pepper, and finally just a little bit of hot barbecue rub. Just to add some color, a little bit of extra spice. Kind of using it as a blackened seasoning today. So now these fillets are ready to get on the grill. Let's go show you how we're gonna cook them today. So I'm starting out with a good bed of Royal Oak lump charcoal in my big green egg. Add a couple wax starter cubes, and this is gonna get the fire going. You wanna leave that lid open during this step and have the bottom open as well. When those coals get good and hot, that's when we wanna close the lid, adjust our top vent. I'm just having all the holes open 100%. Then we're gonna close the top vent to about an inch and a half, somewhere in that range. It's gonna let plenty of air in. So once the grill comes up to temperature, you wanna hit and get your cooking grate in place. And you'll notice I've got a set of grill grates here I've flipped upside down. If you don't have those, you can use the cast iron skillet. It works just as well. So I've got my big green egg fired up and it's running about 400 degrees. And you'll notice that I've got my grill grates on, on top of the regular big green egg grate, but I've got them flipped upside down to really give me a flat surface. It's gonna be great for cooking these fish. Now, the problem people have with grilled fish is a lot of times it wants to stick. So I've sprayed my, the back of my grill grates lightly, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna lay each filet on a lemon and a piece of lime to give me some citrus flavors but it's also gonna protect that fish to keep it from burning on the bottom side. And I'm just laying that filet right on top of it. These filets are gonna need four or five minutes to cook. Then we're gonna get this barbecue glaze to put on them. And I've used some of my barbecue sauce, some melted butter, a little lemon juice, and a little hot sauce. Create a real nice glaze that's gonna go great with this barbecue catfish. So it's been five minutes and now we're gonna check our fish and get our glaze on them. They're really looking great. Um, you can see the peppers come through on them and the seasonings in the rub, but I've got this barbecue glaze that we're just gonna put over the top. You don't have to go real heavy, just let it drizzle down. It's gonna start to cook on. Now at the end of this cook, we're gonna flip each one of these fillets over on the hot grate. And it's gonna really give us some nice color on the top side here. Now we're gonna get the lid closed and we still need about Four to five more minutes for these fillets to come through. It's a real fast cook. They cook really quick. Uh, you just wanna hold that temp steady. We'll come back and check on them, show you how we're gonna finish them off quick as the timer goes off. Stick around. All right, our catfish has been on about nine minutes. This is where I'm gonna get the top uh, colored up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my spatula and carefully take each piece of fish off the top and just kinda lay it right down. Go ahead and get those up. I'm just gonna do this for every one. And it only needs to stay down about a minute. We're just getting a little char on the top. That's what I wanna see. I want these fillets to hold together. And they look beautiful. And I want y'all to check this out. That is some beautiful barbecue catfish fillets. Simple to do. I mean, I love the color it gets on the top from flipping it over there at the last few minutes. Just gets a little bit of blackening on top of it. It's perfectly cooked all the way through. All we gotta do is try it now. Let's go over to the cutting board. I wanna show you a perfect side dish to serve with these barbecue catfish fillets. I call it my pineapple coleslaw. I'm just starting with a little mayo, some crushed pineapple, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of the pineapple juice. We're gonna mix all that together in a bowl, season it with a little AP, and then fold it into our coleslaw mix. Allow it to set in the fridge for about an hour or two before serving. All right, before I try this barbecue catfish, let's talk real quick about what we did. I started with eight catfish fillets. They were about four or five ounce fillets. Put a little bit of olive oil on them, 
good dose of lemon pepper and a little bit of that hot barbecue rub to really give them some spice. Then we brought our big green egg up to about 400 degrees. If you're cooking on another grill, hey, you want it medium high, good grilling temperature. Cooking on the back side of our grill grate so we've got a good flat surface. We laid down a couple slices of lemons and limes and then we put each filet down on top of that and cooked it for about eight or nine minutes. Halfway through, we brushed each filet with that barbecue butter glaze, and we just kind of let that cook on until the very end. Nine minutes into the cook, we flipped each filet over just to get a little color on that top side, and that's where we're at. How easy was that? Now, it serves with this pineapple coleslaw, and I promise you it's another take on coleslaw. Adding that crushed pineapple to it is really good. So how I'm going to serve this is I'm just going to get a big plate of pineapple coleslaw. Yeah, we're going to need a little more for that. Then we're going to put some of these fillets right on top. Just going to move them over. You know, two fillets. For me, probably one more. Be just right. That's a man serving there. But I got to try one of these. And I want you to see, that fish is done all the way through. It's perfectly white. It's got great texture. It's holding together well. And let's see how it tastes. Mm. Wow. You really get those barbecue notes and grill flavors. Awesome. Lemon pepper comes through and the glaze adds just enough sweetness to really tie it all together. Mm. Great summertime grilling recipe. Hey, with our pineapple slaw, it gives it a great crunch. It's just creamy enough, but those pineapples bring a different note to coleslaw you might not have tried. Adds a little bit of sweetness, but you still get that acidity and the vinegar brings it all together. Hey, fire up those grills this summer and put some fish on it, man. You're gonna love it with the pineapple slaw. It's really great. Hey, we appreciate y'all checking out the channel today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. It's gonna let you know when we send out new stuff. We try to put them out every week or so. You can also send questions and comments to Facebook and Twitter. We love answering them. We try to get to all of them. We'll see you guys next time.